Hi, it's Iman, and today I'm going to talk about uh, checking the 25% rule in dual structural systems. Uh, that's basically the requirement to see if the moment frame alone can resist at least 25% of the base shear. Uh, and there are different ways to do this, but today I'm going to show you um, a neat method which is simple and accurate. Let's get started. All right. According to ASC 7, in a dual system, the moment frames must be capable of resisting at least 25% of the design seismic forces. Um, the biggest challenge with removing shear walls in an ETHOS model is that uh, you basically lose their gravity load carrying capacity, right? But the code requirement is only about removing the walls uh, from the lateral resisting system, uh, not from the gravity system, right? So if we just do a save as and create a new file and physically delete the walls, I think um, it's not very accurate, right? Besides, uh, it changes the load distribution along the height uh, because the lateral load distribution depends on the uh, weight, right? And here the wall self, self weight uh, is basically gone. So, what's the solution? All right, first, I'm going to create uh, a save as model. Mm, 25% check, for example. Okay. Now, I go to select, select, object type, and I'm going to select all shear walls. Okay. Well selected, okay. Uh, I go to define, uh, group definitions, and I'm gonna create a new group and call it shear walls, for example, okay. All right, now I go to assign, uh, assign objects to group, select shear walls, and hit okay. All right. And I already have my lateral uh, load patterns defined. Okay, this is for the x direction, for example, and this is for the y direction. Okay, all right. Next, um, I go to define load cases, and I'm going to create a new load case and name it as frames only. Okay. I set the analysis to nonlinear staged construction. So uh, I can define a multi-stage analysis. All right. And then over here, hit add, then I go to stage operations, add, add. Okay. In this stage analysis, uh, I'll have two situations. Number one, the first row, uh, the full structure with all elements active, okay? And the second one, I choose uh, remove structure and the group that I, I uh, already defined shear walls. And so the second case is the same structure, but with the shear wall group removed from the lateral uh, system, okay? All right, hit okay, okay. And uh, okay, all right. Um, next, I have to go back to the load cases, and I'm gonna modify uh, my lateral loads here. Okay, ex modify, and over here, I have to choose this option, and um, I set its initial condition to start from the stage construction results, which we name it frames only. Okay. And I set the scale factor to 25%. Okay. And I do the same for the Y direction. Uh, over here, frames only with uh, a scale factor of 25%. Okay, all right, 
Now I run analysis. Okay, it's done. Uh, if I go here to show you uh, the deform shape under uh, dead load, for example. Okay, okay. So under the dead load, let me start animation. You can see the shear walls are still in place, right? Let me stop it. But if I switch over to the EX, which is using our stage construction setup, you can see the walls are gone, right? That's because in stage two, we removed the shear walls group uh, from the lateral system. Okay. All right. And finally, uh, we have to check if the frame alone can take that 25% of lateral load. So basically, uh, we can redesign this model to see if members uh, can resist the load. And uh, remember, for this check, all we care about is the strength of the moment frame members, right? Um, so basically, there's no need to check things like drift or torsional irregularity for this specific requirement. All right, that's it for today. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you.